Hello, 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 one, two, are we? Good morning, good morning everyone. It's really good to see you all today. Welcome to our service of worship. And uh, we've got a special welcome this morning because we have Ted, Ted Masson is here this morning. He's looking at me going, you mentioned my name. <laughs> so we've got Ted and his family and friends here to celebrate his baptism. So that's great. Wonderful to welcome you all. And uh, the prayer is, as always, that you'll meet with God. It's, yes, we're here to baptize, but we're also here to worship, and we're here to experience God's presence amongst us in, in the worship, in the talking about His Word, in our fellowship together, in our prayers together. So that is my prayer, that we'll all uh, meet by the, with the Lord by His Spirit amongst us today. Uh, some of the notices are on the screens, actually, if you want to put those up, fantastic. Well, they're just a reminder. It's not going to be quite as dramatic as that. Okay, we're not doing a full immersion <laughs> this morning, we're just doing a sprinkling. And uh, I'll invite Joan up to share the notices with us today. Uh, some of them are coming up on the screen, but with Linda away, Linda's our office manager, so everything's a little bit less connected, <laughs> but we'll be fine. Uh, good morning, everyone. There is a huge thank you from the Fair Trade, the stall that they had here last Sunday, made the amazing amount of £214. So they thank everyone who has contributed to that, and that will help many people in developing countries. And um, Margaret, who runs the Fair Trade stall, she will be back in the church on Sunday the 3rd of December in time for you to buy any last minute items for Christmas. Uh, safeguarding, Mrs. Liz Aiken and Mrs. Audrey Shepherd, who are the safeguarding coordinators for West Kirk, have very kindly agreed to cover the vacancy that we have here at St. Andrews for the foreseeable future and we are very grateful for their offer of assistance. There is a safeguarding poster in the gallery which contains the contact details if required. The Guild meet tomorrow evening, Monday evening, for the regular fortnightly meeting where Gaynor Scott will be introducing the new theme for the year, new wine, new wineskins. The following Sunday, 5th November, they will be holding a Christmas craft sales in the gallery and looking forward to seeing all their festive creations. Now, I have another note regarding their soup and pudding lunch yesterday. A huge thank you to everyone involved in the soup and pudding lunch the Guild had yesterday, those who bought tickets and donated money, and those who made soup and puddings, and all the workers in the kitchen and serving the food. An amazing amount of 671 pounds was raised for our projects this year, so a big thank you from the Guild. The November issue of What's On has been distributed on email and social media, and copies will be included in the Quest magazine, which will be ready for distribution next Sunday, the 5th of November. A service of thanksgiving for the life of Flora Morrison, one of our members and with family here, will take place here in the church on Thursday 9th November at 11.30 a.m. And that's it. That's it. Okay, okay thank, you. thank you, Joan. Uh, we've got a few others as well that came in. Uh, so on the next slide, just a reminder for those of you uh, that are involved in the Wednesday Cafe, like going to that, the Dementia Cafe, that's the 1st of November. Uh, it's open to all who have a link with dementia, either themselves or through family members and friends. Uh, the office is closed at the moment until the 3rd of November. Uh, so Linda's away on holiday. So any problems, issues, then um, I guess it's Joan or me that you get in contact with. Okay, I don't promise to be able to do very much, but Linda's back on the Friday. Uh, next slide, we've got um, the filling station meeting on the 31st of October. Guest speaker Andy Hall is a good friend of mine, so that would be fantastic to go and hear Andy at the mission on the 31st in the evening. 
And another reminder, I've put this on the social media, but uh, Refuel on the Road is coming to our broth on the 17th and uh, 18th of November for a weekend of equipping, ministry, and worship. Again, that's at the mission. Uh, and finally, advanced warning of Mum and Me Christmas Fair, Saturday, 25th November, here in the church. Okay? Thank you for your attention. Let's come before the Lord and hear from His Word. Psalm 51. Let's, let's hear from one of those psalms that, wow, that's 3,000 years old or more, written by King David. Psalm 51, verses 10 to 12. And uh, Psalm of praise to God. He says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you that we are not capable of creating a pure heart in ourselves, that that's a gift from you, that because of what Jesus has done for us on the cross, uh, we have access to everything that is your grace and your love and your purity. So, Lord, renew us in our spirits, and we can only do that by the renewal of the Holy Spirit. So, we invite you, Holy Spirit, to come and renew us and renew our spirits, uh, that we might have joy. This is a joyful day, God, when we baptize and we welcome into your family, the household of God, Ted Masson. So, Lord, prepare us and prepare our hearts to receive that wonderful grace that comes, because when baptism takes place, there's a sign and a seal of the Holy Spirit amongst us. Lord, grant us willing spirits to embark and partner with You and work with You and join with You as You come and invite us to worship You now in Jesus' name. Amen. So, we're, we're going to stand to worship. We have two songs to sing just now, and I'd invite you to stand if you're able to do that. And I know that I saw some dancers earlier practicing in the sanctuary. So, this is a church where you can worship freely, okay? So, if you want to dance around, that's good. If you want to sing, even better. Otherwise, it'll just be these guys playing and singing. And if you want to, if you want to sit down, that's okay. Or if you want to raise your hands, or you want to clap, all of those things are in the Bible and are good to do to worship. Okay, so let's worship the Lord.
Well done. Praise God. Praise God. So before we, we get into the baptism part of the service, we're going to have a couple of readings. And I'd like to invite Ian. Ian up first, and he's going to go and get his iPad here and lead us in our Bible reading for today. So this comes from the book of Joshua, which again is a way back in the Old Testament days. Oh, about 15, what, how many, Ian? 3,500 years ago? Something like that. Brilliant, brilliant story about Joshua who took uh, the, the tribes of the Israelites, the nation of Israel at that time, into the promised land. And this is his parting words to the people. He got them all assembled, just like this morning, and he's got some words for them. So, Ian, on you go. So, this morning's reading is from, as Jonathan said, it's from the book of Joshua in the Old Testament, chapter 24, and we're going to be reading a couple of verses, verse 14. Uh, so, I'm going to read it from here, I think. Yeah, because my version's slightly different, so I'm going to read from up there. So, if I'm looking that way, please ignore what I'm not looking at you. So, now fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness. Throw away the gods your ancestors worshipped beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt and serve the Lord. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ian. And uh, Emma's going to... Are you ready, Emma? Yep. Kate's sister, yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Uncle Archie. Okay. I'm going to do a little reading about love, and it's from Guess How Much I Love You, and it's written by Sam McBratney and illustrated by Anita Jeram. Little Nut Brown Hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to Big Nut Brown Hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure that Big Nut Brown Hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said Big Nut Brown Hair. This much, said Little Nut Brown Hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they could go. Big Nut Brown Hair had even longer arms. But I love you this much, he said. Hmm, that is a lot, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you all the way down the lane, as far as the river, cried Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you across the river and over the hills said Big Nut, Big Nut Brown Hair. It's a tongue twister. That's very far, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. He was almost too sleepy to think any more. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes, out into the big dark night. Nothing could be further than the sky. I love you, right up to the moon, he said, and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very, very far. Big Nut Brown Hair settled Little Nut Brown Hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him goodnight. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you, right up to the moon. And back. The end. The end. Very good. That was lovely. Uh, how much does God love us? Oh, that, is what, that speaks to, to me more than to the moon and back, the universe and back and more. Uh, can I have the next uh, slide, please? Oh, brilliant, Ashley. Okay, so for those of you who are here for the first time, uh, you'll not be 
knowing that for the past few weeks we've been doing a series on the person of Nehemiah. He has his own book in the Old Testament, and he was a leader of the people of Israel about, let me get my years right, two and a half thousand years ago. So, Joshua was three and a half thousand years ago, and he took the people of Israel into the promised land, and then they are kind of mucked up, and they didn't follow God, and they ended up being taken away into Babylon in exile, but then God said, it's time for you to go back, and they all said, we're sorry, God, we're sorry, we should never have left you, and they invited God back in again, and with Nehemiah, who was their leader at the time, they rebuilt the temple in Jerusalem where they worshipped, and they rebuilt the walls. And the next slide here, we've got this amazing statement, when the walls were all falling down and the enemies were about to come in and attack Jerusalem, they all joined together in households, which is the theme of today. Baptism welcomes people into the household of God. And the workers on the wall, each one in their own household, built the wall. They began this good work. And here's an interesting uh, passage here. So, the folks will remember this from a few weeks back in the next slide here. Every, as I said, every family built a section of the wall outside their house. And so, here's these guys, Shalom, son of Halosius, ruler of the half district of Jerusalem, repaired the next section with the help of his daughters. That's amazing because it tells me that whole families were involved in building. So, I've got something that maybe you can help me with. So, I think Ruri and Leah um, volunteered, and no pressure was applied. We're going to do this together, okay? So, Ruri, here's two bags for you. If you could give one bag to one row uh, on this side here and one bag to another row, okay? Let me see who's enthusiastic about wanting to do some Duplo building. Yeah, I think maybe, the, and Leah, maybe you could go up the other side, or maybe that side. Tell you what, if, you're, if you want to do some Duplo building, raise your hand. Okay, so far, one. Oh, yes. Okay, Leah, you can see there's somebody there on that row. You could give them the bag. What about this side? Okay, you guys want to do some building, all right? Now, listen very carefully, because I will say this only once, or maybe twice. When you get your bag, when you get your bag, you share out your Duplo bo blocks, okay, with people on your row. So you take your Duplo blocks out, share them on your row, take some out. Okay, and what I want you to do as a row, as a row, I want you to join all your blocks together in a bit of wall, okay? I want you to share, share, all, uh, share out the blocks and join them into a wall, build them all together, okay? So, start at one end, pass it along, and then Ruri and Leah will come and pick things up again. Build a section of wall, okay? So, start at one end. What's that? We're building a... Yes. Sorry, you... Do you want... <laughs> we're building a wall, basically. We're building a wall, and we're putting the sections together. So, each row is to build a section, okay? My civil engineer friend here was basically going to add a bit of, bit of quantity surveying to that, were you? Alan, could we have some sound, some music going to keep us going while we're... Thank you, or, uh, or Ashley, maybe some music. How are you doing? Have you built your sections yet? 
It's all right, the enemies have come and taken over. Thank you. Right, when you're finished, you can bring it up to me here. Oh, that looks brilliant. Okay. So, thank you so much. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put it on this table here, yeah? Brilliant. Thank you. All right. That's very good. Thank you very much. That's excellent. Thank you. Ah, it's your boy. Ian, what's wrong with this ball? <laughs> Yeah, well, you're doing okay until you... That's the a, that's a problem, isn't it? You didn't have control. Thank you. All right, there we go. Um, have we got one more wall done yet? Aye, yes. Now, I'm looking for a volunteer to join them all together. Here we go. That's excellent. Now, can you join these? See, I've just kind of left them do you want to join them all together. You know, how, how are you going to do that? <gasps> yeah, okay. So you could do that, and then we'll talk about, we'll talk about the... Ooh, let's put the next slide up, Ashley. So you've done this bit. You've done your Duplo walls. Thank you very much. Oh, there's another bit. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that could go on there. Oh, thank you, and my bag back as well. That's, a, that's one of my favorite bags. Thank you. So here we all are with different families, each row is representing a different household of God, and you've all come together and you've, put, you've built the wall and you've saved Jerusalem from the, from the enemies of, oh. We better not speak too loudly. I think a round of applause is in order there. <laughs> So everybody gets involved in the building, and we'll, we'll pray a little bit more about that in a minute, but now we've got a song which uh, Kate has selected for us here. It's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Now, this is one I definitely saw you doing actions for earlier, the folks who were in here practicing. He's got the whole, does anybody know them? He's got the whole world in his hands, old world, in his hands, he's got the whole wide world, in his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. I think that's easy enough. Maybe the wrong key, though. Oh, I got the right key. Oh, no. He's got the whole world. Shall we say a quick prayer, and then we'll, oh, I can just feel you're all desperate to get baptizing, which will be so good, so good. Right, let's uh, pray together. And in this prayer, uh, we're just preparing our hearts 
uh, to, uh, for baptism. We're preparing our hearts to meet with God in that and for Him to forgive us for the wrong things we've done. So, Lord, we come to You, and we thank You that You have a love which is just beyond everything. It's beyond the river, it's beyond the moon, it's beyond the ocean. You've got the whole world in Your hands. You're an amazing God, and I thank You, Lord, that You love us, and You love families. Yes, biological families, but also when we're put together into spiritual families. That's what you've said, that there shouldn't be anybody that's lonely in the kingdom of God, because everybody has a family. There's a big family here this morning. We're all part of that, Lord. Thank you that we are invited to belong in this household today. And we welcome Ted into that very place as a member of your family, a member of the household of God. What a privilege. How amazing is that, God, that you reach out and you say, Ted, I love you. Come on. Come on in. And he says that to each one of us today. I love you so much. Come and be my child. That's the way that you've designed us to be, Lord, to have God in our lives and God in our hearts. So I pray, Lord, that you would forgive us for the times that we keep you at arm's length. We shut the door on you. We just say, no, I'm not going there. I don't need God. I've got everything sussed out myself. Lord, we're sorry for those times when we've done that. And we ask you that just that simple step of saying, sorry, I, I want to turn around and do things your way. Lord, help us to love you and to turn back to worshiping you, just like Joshua did in his time. Nehemiah did in his time, and all the families there who built the wall. Thank you, God, that you give us, each one of us, a job in your kingdom to build something, that we're not just to sit and twiddle our thumbs, but that actually you've said, I've got a job for you to do, whether that's just praying, whether that's being somebody who plays an instrument in worship, or somebody who speaks, or somebody who just goes and serves others, and whatever it is, Lord, uh, I pray that you would uh, help us to do that. For your glory, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's sing again. This is my desire to honor you. So, when we're bringing uh, Ted to baptism, or anybody for that matter, it's about honoring what God has said to do in His Word, the Bible. So, let's sing this together. You can maybe stand if you're able to.
seats. Ashley, if I could have the message, two slides up, please. Thank you. So, why do we, why do we baptize? Um, we also call it christening, but it comes from the original, um, the original word for what we're doing with Ted this morning is baptism. Um, we do it because Jesus Himself, Jesus the Son of God, was baptized, and He set an example for us. And He said to us, to his followers, he said, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. So, we get the names of God. Isn't that incredible? So, when we're baptizing Ted, we're praying in the name of God, which is about, it's about his identity. It's about who he is. And when we're baptized, that's what God does. He gives us his name, When Jesus was baptized, God said, this is my dear son in whom I'm well pleased. So, that's what God is saying this morning. He's saying, Ted, you're my son in whom I'm well pleased. Isn't that amazing? And we we follow that command. So, everything about God uh, comes when we baptize. And it's a sign of something else on the next side as well. It's what we do in water is a sign, and it's a seal of the Holy Spirit's work. So, we believe that when we're baptizing, God is here by His Holy Spirit, and that's something that we can know, that we can feel, that we can experience, because He fills, He will fill Ted with His Holy Spirit. And having had that deposit in Him, one day, Ted, we believe in faith, will have His own faith in Lord Jesus. I'll just skip to the last slide, Ashley, of this lot. Um, We're born again by the Spirit. Oh, that's the first one. Oh, the one before that, sorry. But what I want to emphasize this morning is that when Ted is baptized, he becomes part of the family and the household of God. This is what Paul says in his letter to the church in Corinth. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one Spirit, so as to form one body. Christ's body is where He is, the church. He's at home here on earth by His Spirit in His body, the church. And that's what we're doing this morning. We're saying to Ted, welcome on in to the church, your family. So, why don't we do that now? Let's uh, assemble around the font. Come on up. So, I welcome Terry, yep, Uh, Kate, Ted, Emma, and Annie. And Annie, I don't know if you remember being christened or baptized here by the Reverend Martin Fair. Do you remember that? No, that was maybe six years ago, was it? Well, it's lovely to have you back, and it's lovely to have Ted here. So, baptism is a public way of a person saying that they've decided to give their life for Jesus Christ, and they recognize that He died on the cross to forgive them. Baptism of a wee bairn, like Ted, is necessarily an act of faith, Uh, but it's up to us as parents and our commitments uh, to be in the grace of God and rely on that grace in order that Ted will grow up knowing Jesus Christ as his Savior and his Lord and his friend. And we're reminded of that Joshua passage, as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. So, that's all about bringing Ted up in uh, the household of God where God is honored and He's he's spoken about, and um, maybe there's, you know, you can say grace at mealtimes, or you can pray or read the Bible. In fact, we've got a wee Bible as well, I think, that we'll be um, giving out. Uh, So, yeah, that's Ted up there. It's up on the screen. So, guys, you want to gather around a bit around here, and I think, Annie, you were going to pour the water into the into here, into this bit. Not on Ted yet. Although, who knows, you may be doing that later in life. 
Stranger things have happened. Yeah. There we are. Well done. Okay, I think that'll just be really warm, Ted. It's going to be really warm, okay? <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay, we're going to do some vows. Terry and Kate, in bringing Ted for baptism, desiring that he becomes part of Christ's body, a member of his church, his household, are you prepared to affirm your faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Can I ask everyone to stand? Uh, normally, when we're, we're undertaking a baptism, it's a whole family event, and it's the whole congregation get involved. So, it's a, a moment for us all to reaffirm our faith. Our faith. If you're here and, you, and you're thinking, I'm not sure I've got a faith really in, in Jesus or Christianity or God or anything, well, that's okay. You don't have to say the words on the screen. But even if you've got a little inkling that says, do you know, I think there's something more here, then I've always said, just dive in and see where God takes you. So, I'm going to read out the bits that are in the purple, and if you guys could say the bits that are in the green. Now, this bit, this declaration of faith is another ancient uh, creed of the church. It's called the Apostles' Creed. It's one of the first statements of faith that were ever made by the new Christians uh, after Jesus went back up to heaven. So, let us affirm the faith. Do you believe in God who made and loves you? I believe in God the Father, Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Saviour and Lord? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and he descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, and he ascended into heaven, and he's seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit and the continuing work of our salvation? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Okay, congregation, you can take your seats, but you guys have to stay here. Okay. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the gifts of water and the gift of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we note that throughout the Bible, water has been used as a symbol of cleansing and new life and the flow of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for the example of Jesus, that though he was God, eternal, yet he was also Son of God, who came in flesh as a human being, was baptized in the Jordan, and the Holy Spirit came upon him. Lord, we thank you for Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples. So, as we come to baptizing Ted, we pray, Lord, that you would send your Holy Spirit upon him and that he will remain forever one of your faithful followers. Okay, Ted, are you ready? Here we are. Hello. Hiya. Oh, cha boy. Oh, got a wee punch there. <laughs> ah, are you ready, Ted? What's going on in there? We'll find out in a minute. Ted. For you, Jesus Christ, came into this world. For you, he lived a perfect life, showing God's grace and love. And for you, he suffered and died on the cross. And for you, he rose again, triumphant over death. And has gone to reign at the God's right hand. All this, can you believe it? all this he did for you. And so, the words of Jesus' friend John have come true. We love God because he first loved us. God loves you. Ted William Masson, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, isn't that nice? Hmm. 
blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and dwell in your heart forever. Ted is now baptized into Jesus Christ. He's in the family of God, and we receive him, welcome him as a member of this one church that we're all part of, the Catholic, that means universal, and apostolic church. That means it's based on the original apostles, Peter and John and the others. He, Ted, you are welcomed in to that church. Isn't that amazing? Do you want me to do that? We're now going to sing together um, an ancient song of blessing. And we haven't rehearsed this, but would you be okay if I just walked around the church with Ted? Ted, would you be okay with that? He says, he says, all right. See, I've had two boys. I I know about this. (laughs) I know that you're desperate to go and find out what that is. (laughs) Shall we sing? Shall we um, stand to sing? The Lord bless you and keep you. you to do it twice. (laughs) Here we are. We've made it back up again. Would you like to take your seats, everyone? Thank you. So, Kate and Terry, from this day, Ted has a home here. You do a home here in this Christian community. There will always be a place for him in the hearts of us all. Ted, you belong to God in Christ, and you guys, tell him about his baptism. I'm sure you do remind Annie of hers, yep, that when uh, he is older, he's able to make his own response in faith and love, and in due course, share in everything about the communion and the household of God in the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Okay, I've got just a couple more things for you to say yes to. Do you promise, depending on God's grace, to share your faith in Jesus Christ with Ted in what you do and what you say in prayer and worship by your life lived with him? To let him know that in God he has a Father, in Jesus he has a Savior, you do, and in the Holy Spirit he has God as a constant companion guide and Lord. And do you promise to bring him up worshiping in his local church? That would be good, wouldn't it? Oh, you're desperate to, do you want to go and see what? Yes, that's the minister's notes. You mustn't touch those or else it'll all go pear-shaped. And Emma, do you promise uh, to love and support Kate and Terry in bringing up Ted? Thank you. And do you as a congregation of God's people, part of the worldwide church, knowing the presence of Jesus amongst you by His Word and by the sacraments and by the Holy Spirit, welcome Ted, and do you renew your commitment with the help of the Holy Spirit to love and nurture all God's children and to share with them the knowledge and love of Jesus Christ? Thank you. We're going to say together a statement that will come up on the screen about nurturing. Oh, you'll want to run it. Let's all say this together. 
we will nurture one another in faith, uphold one another in prayer, and encourage one another in service. Amen. We're just going to say a, a final prayer, and then we'll have a few presentations, and then you can be released. Yes. So let's pray. Lord, I pray that you would protect and guard Ted and Terry and Kate all of their days, that you would be present to them by your wonderful grace and your wonderful love. You will hold them secure in that love. Lord, we bless Ted's spirit to connect with your Holy Spirit. And Psalm 51, we learned that this morning, didn't we? Lord, give him a willing spirit uh, to connect with your spirit. And Lord, I pray for Terry and Kate that you'll give them wisdom, they'll give them courage, that you will support them. And I also pray, Lord, for Emma, that you will enable her to be a loving and supporting godmother to Ted. Father, surround this family with your love. Pray too for the extended family, uh, that your grace would be with them, and that they will know that they have a Savior who loves them, and a Holy Spirit who is alongside them and is in them. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, Ted, what do you want to do? Do you want to go back to mommy or daddy? <laughs> you want to play in the water? Is that what it is? He just wants to get in there. Oh, we can't do it again, unfortunately. So, we're going to have some presentations. I wonder if there's anybody who would like to come up and make some presentations of some gifts. Oh, lovely. Here come Alexis and Scarlett. <laughs> that was done. Okay. Scarlett, would you… Well, we take the present up and then we'll get somebody else to take the… You want to come up with this? Do you want me to hold your hand? No, no. Ah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so you've got some flowers and you've got 99 short stories from the Bible. You've also got a certificate. And you've got something mysterious. I don't know what's in that present. So that's excellent. Fantastic. So thank you so much. You may go back to your seats now. Thank you. Give them a round of applause. just get myself gathered together. Let's pray, and then we'll sing our final song together. Lord, we thank you that it's always been your intention that you gather people and families, that you want to be dwelling in the midst of the family of God. But Lord, we think of all those places in the world. Um, we can't but have our hearts moved and, and such sorrow to see how m many families are broken up and uh, cast asunder, ripped aside, and particularly in Gaza and Israel at the moment, Lord, such heartache and so opposed to your design and purpose for us, that we're to live in your harmony and your peace, and yet that's not happening. So, we pray for that area today, that part of the world, Lord, that we've learned about has been an area of conflict for thousands of years. We ask for your solutions for it, Lord, that you would come and work through the peacemakers, uh, that you would rescue families, and that you would, as you said in your word, that you want to make one people out of two, that uh, there would be peace and reconciliation. We don't have the, the wherewithal and the means to know how to do that, Lord, but we just pray the, for you to come in power in that situation in Israel and Gaza at the moment, and we pray that you would be with them. We ask also, Lord, that you would bless families throughout our town, throughout our area, throughout Scotland. Uh, Lord, we hear of so many family breakups and difficulties and 
mental health challenges. And we pray into all of those, Lord. Ask for your healing power and also a rediscovery of what it means to know Jesus in family life, that there would be that outpouring of your Spirit and a drawing of families back to you. And we think of both biological and spiritual families. For those that are on their own, Lord, that they would feel part of the family of God and that you would begin to do this work again across our nation. We ask for the glory of your name. Amen. We're going to sing um, a tune. Well, the tune's very familiar. The words may not be. And this is a a song about the, the grace of God and the mercy of God and giving thanks for those in our lives. So let's stand uh, to sing together. knowing that you are secure in the household of God. And may the grace, that grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all and especially upon Ted and his family today, now and forevermore we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. God bless you, and enjoy the rest of your time together as family. I hope you have some good times, and bless everyone else as well. We'll see you next week.